could try to put it. Why don't I just put it here? Yeah, that works. Let me see that real quick one more time. From the top. My name is Frank Walter, and I am the head of management of the regulation department of the population branch at the U.S. Census Bureau. And that's a really long title for somebody who's in charge of giving out a lot of condoms. Okay, try that again. So my name is Frank Walter, and I am the head of management at the regulation department of the population branch at the U.S. Census Bureau. And my job was created to help stabilize the population growth in the United States. More detail? Yeah. Okay. Um, in 2010, uh, the United States was responsible for consuming a quarter of the world's electricity. Uh, and that was only with 300 million people. Today, in 2060, with a population of 600 million people, the United States is responsible for consuming half of the world's electricity. Uh, if we continue to grow at the same rate, um, by 2100, the United States will be consuming a vast majority of the world's electricity. Um, and this could very well lead to a very, very grim future. Like I said earlier, um, at the population branch, we're responsible for stabilizing the population growth uh, within the United States. And we do so by going door to door to certain families, uh, to certain neighborhoods of the country, and not only encouraging, but also making contraceptives widely available to all those families. Um, the people we see from day to day vary greatly, uh, but most are willing and, and understanding of, of what we're trying to do. However, there are people that resist and don't take too kindly to what we do. But when we make the effort, um, well, let's just say that they'll want to have a change of heart. Right, well, our employees are trained to convince these folks that using contraceptives is the right thing to do. Um, we get straight to the point and effectively persuade them to at least acknowledge the importance of using contraceptives. Um, our personal visits uh, give more of a dominant complex to the agency rather than issuing a simple form in the mail. On the off chance, however, that people are uh, unwilling to cooperate after receiving the census and having their personal visit, um, other means of persuasion are entertained. Other mean, what do you mean other means of persuasion? Uh, I'll just cut that out. I didn't mean to say that. So off the record, um, you and I both know that just encouraging contraceptives solely is not going to really do anything. It won't be sufficient in taming this absurd population growth. What happens when five or ten years down the line you still don't see any astoundingly positive results? Are you, is your branch just going to stop trying? Are you just going to give up? Um, is the camera off right now? Yeah, it's not, it's not on. All right, yeah, because I can get in trouble if my bosses uh, hear what I'm going to say. But, um, uh, you know, if we don't achieve the results that we're, 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 we're looking for, which is, um, well, let me just start off by saying, like, to be honest, it's, it, we're probably not going to achieve those results simply because um, people don't care, to be quite honest, no matter how much we persist and no matter how much we try to uh, make everyone aware of this issue, um, people just don't care. And so, um, yeah, five, ten years from now, uh, you know, if you if you were to ask me uh, what 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 we're going to be doing about it, um, well, uh, let me just tell you that um, action. Will Bees pollinated 72% of the world's food. That's why the world started dying in 2050, when colony collapse disorder killed the last bee on Earth. The lack of food crippled the world, leaving most governments in shambles. Scientists in the United States, scrambling to recover, traced CCD back to a tiny parasite called the Varroa destructor. 
hoping to remedy the situation, the United States government developed and mass-produced a mechanized bee. Two years into its successful field run, terrorists hacked the Pentagon's security system and changed the bee's primary objective from pollinating to killing. It is hard to believe that humans controlled most of the planet. Our ancestors made some mistakes which changed the world. Now there are only a few of us left and life is tough. There is little food and hardly any abundant water sources during the summer season, which is quickly approaching. For those of us who are left, it is a struggle to collect water. Luxuries of using water like our ancestors did is now impossible. Its rarity makes every drop worth more than gold. We must hunt and catch our prey. Few opportunities present themselves, and when they do, they must be taken. Meat is a precious source that is rare like many things in this land. Nothing can be wasted. Not only do we have to struggle to find food and water to sustain ourselves, but there are still those amongst us who fight and kill each other. How can we stop climate change from destroying the world? The way we can fix this is by improving efficiency of technology and reducing our dependency on fossil fuels. This we can do by converting to low or no carbon emission powers, such as wind, solar, and nuclear powers. Thank you.
Thank you.